Hey guys, today I'm making activated charcoal in our backyard. Activated charcoal is a really useful substance just in general, but especially for a garden amendment, you can charge it with nutrients and then it becomes a sort of permanent compost. So this is an amazing garden amendment, as I said, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I make it. So we've got all of our supplies laid out right here. I'm using cardboard scraps to get the fire started. I've got twigs, again, to just kind of initially burn. And then I've got my wood assorted from roughly smaller pieces to larger logs. I've also got some burned logs from the previous fire. And I've got some bones. If you've seen our video on making a mineral extract, you can use bones that you've already extracted all the minerals from to make as a garden amendment and then you can burn these the rest of the way and turn them into activated charcoal so definitely do that i've also got this giant tote of eggshells these are more eggshells that i'm gonna probably use in a year we just save all of them why get rid of them and i'm gonna be burning those as well now the special thing about this exact type of burn is that we're gonna burn all of this material, turn it into activated charcoal using a method that produces very little smoke. It is an extremely hot burn. And we just wanted to show you how, to, that, how we like to do that. So you can see that this pit is about two feet deep and roughly three feet across or three feet in diameter. And the reason, basic reason for that is that that's what's allowed in our area. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take this cardboard, tear it up just like you'd normally like build a normal fire and I'll create the base layer. And we're gonna start really small. So just making a tiny fire at the base. And the method that we'll use to get this really, really hot is once there's a layer of ash that appears on the outside of the sticks or the little twigs that we use, we're gonna put on a slightly bigger piece. And so every time that you see the ash starting to form, you add another log, or actually another several logs. And there's a brief moment when the smoke kind of starts pouring out and they start catching fire. But this way, it just creates an extremely hot fire. Because of that, all of the gases and whatever, I don't actually know exactly how it works, but everything that comes up from the bottom gets burned off by the heat very quickly. It creates a smokeless fire. So this is just good for the environment compared to filling your neighborhood with smoke. It also helps when you douse your material. If the materials are extremely hot, there's an activation where they kind of explode with pores. And that's exactly what you're trying to go for when you're making activated charcoal. Okay, so this is my starter fire and I'm just gonna add a, a little bit more these scrap cardboard just to make sure that it gets started all around. So at this point, just starting to form on the outside of the sticks is a thin layer of ash. And so I've got my slightly larger sticks ready. I'm just gonna start laying those on and those are gonna catch fire really quickly. There's the initial smoke that kind of happens when there's new burning material added. So at this point, there's almost no more smoke. There's like maybe a tiny, few tiny wisps but it's starting to burn really hot and I'm just gonna be paying attention because this goes fast. So once I see sort of the pot ash or the, the white ash starting to coat the logs or the sticks, I'm gonna add my next batch of sticks. So yeah, again, this is, I mean, this is very hot. It's a little bit uncomfortable to be that close and it is a tiny fire. Make sure that I add this at the right time. So I've got a little bit to go. Right now, there's absolutely no smoke coming off of this. It doesn't really smell like a fire. My neighbors hopefully aren't getting bothered by it. And that's exactly what we're looking for. We're just wanting to keep it so that it's a very clean burn, really hot. This isn't sort of a relax and roast marshmallows over kind of fire. This is a hot and fast burn. I'm starting to see a layer of ash on top of 
some of the sticks down there. So I'm gonna add the next layer. And again, there will be an initial bit of smoke formed. So the outside of these sticks get, starts getting burned, but pretty quickly, quickly they will start burning really hot as well. And you always wanna make sure that you have your next batch ready so that you don't accidentally miss the timing. Okay, there's a really well-established blaze at this point. This fire is just rocking. And basically whatever I throw on at this point is gonna be immediately consumed. So this is exactly where we want it. We're just gonna keep putting fuel on until the pit is, is filled. Yeah, we'll just keep going until we use as much of this as we can and we'll have a nice pit of activated charcoal. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna stop adding materials and I'm just gonna let it burn. I'm gonna basically be pushing the unburned material from the outside further in so that it gets consumed by the flames. And then pretty soon here, I'm gonna go ahead and douse it with the hose and we'll just wait for a few more minutes for that. All right, this has finished burning for the most part. There's probably a few pieces on the top that haven't cooked all the way through, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. The top layer is like getting very covered in the ash, which is totally fine if there's a little bit in there. The bottom mul multiple layers are extremely hot. It's uncomfortable standing just this close. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my hose and douse it. And what's gonna happen when I douse it and it's this hot is that there's gonna just be a reaction for all the pieces of wood that get hit with the water and get cooled down really quickly. And they're gonna puff out and create an extremely porous material. So that's the whole way, that's like the activation of charcoal, your ac activated charcoal. So here we go. <laughs> it's there's a kink. <laughs> oh, it's on mist. Sorry, never mind. Here we go, on shower. And there's obviously a lot of steam coming off of this. It's actually not that hot of steam, which is nice. I'm just gonna fill up the fire pit so that it's level with the ground. So it's gonna take a little while for this to all fill up, but I wanna make sure that all of the flames have completely gone out. Every single spark, every warm bit of this has been doused. Of course, a great indication of when you've actually done this fully is when the steam runs out, but I'm just gonna go overkill and make sure that it gets up to the top or close to the top. So here's a chunk of a log or a large stick that was burned. And you can see that it's just burned all the way through. It's become complete 100% carbon material and you, it breaks extremely easily. It just kind of crumbles in the hands. That's one of the first signs that you can see that you made actual proper biochar. Another way for you to be able to tell is if you can you crunch it up in your fingers and you rub your hands together, become black like that. And then you wash off your hands just in water with no soap. And they should be relatively clean. I mean, that that's, comes right off. That's the sign that you've actually made the right stuff and there's no contaminants left over. So I feel really happy with this. All right, everyone, that's how we make activated charcoal. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can get more content like this in the future.